reporting from Storm King, although no storms to be even. I mean, no. is, Wet King. It's Wet King. Yeah. Right. It's more yeah. Wet King today. Yes. I was going to say your packages will be wet today. That's probably uh -huh. might discourage the porch pirates a little bit. Yeah. So. But there was some some changes on your forecast. Just not massive. Not like Chicago or Maine. But still, no, it's going to be. Changes. We have a couple of. I mean, it's been we're five and a half inches behind in our rainfall since yeah. the first of October. So and. November and December are our wettest months of the year. They get close to a foot of rain in those two months combined. So we're behind. We're behind right now. Yeah. But, you know, it's, it's still early. Bad. There's yeah. lots of time. Don't panic yet. Might start to see things turn wetter towards the end of next week. And maybe cool enough that we may start to accumulate some snow in the mountains. So don't sell your skis or snowboards quite yet. It looks like there's still plenty of time for the season. Take a look outside this morning. Doppler radar, it's a little jumpy right now because there was an outage for a while. But it's back online. You see that front actually moving on across Puget Sound as we expect and so that steady rain we saw now turning to off and on showers and those are going to diminish during the course of the morning. Looking uh, out from our Tacoma camera things still looking a little misty down there and it's been pretty wet around Tacoma through most of the morning commute. Out at SeaTac it was a little slower to get the rain underway but it's made it in there and it used to be a busy day at the airport not quite as busy it was, as it was a Monday and Tuesday so that's a good trend hopefully everybody finally got home after the holiday weekend. Checking out at Westport it was looking it still, it still looks a little wet but it was looking even wetter earlier so they're into the showers out there and starting to brighten up. Shorecrest High School and Shoreline finally got a little bit of uh, mist in there. Rain it looks a little wet on the roadway, but they were very slow to get started because they were in the rain shadow with the Olympics. Temperatures mostly in the 40s to near 50 degrees. Another very mild morning out there. This is where our normal high should be uh, this time of the year. And we're going to stay close to those temperatures on through the day, just as we did yesterday. University of Washington model showing that front moving on through this morning. So by noontime, even the showers behind it start to pretty much wrap up and then it should dry out entirely this afternoon. Might be a couple of late days. Some breaks out there, so that's good news for the afternoon commute. Tomorrow we're going to be looking for a dry morning, but there'll be some fog and little clouds around. Should see some brief sunshine before we see a little warm front bring a couple showers in here late afternoon evening. That's not going to amount to much. That moves right on out of here. And then as we head towards uh, Friday, we'll see a cold front kind of rotate up out of California, giving us a little bit of wet weather, turning the rain, turning to showers on Friday. And we should dry out as we head over the weekend. So for today, we're going to be looking for that rain. It's already turning to showers. Those are going to pretty much wrap up by noontime today and then mostly cloudy this afternoon, upper 40s. Tomorrow, overall, partly sunny early on and then clouds increase. We see a chance of a few showers late afternoon or evening. As we head on towards Friday, another round of rain turning to showers, but showers should wrap up during the morning on Saturday with some afternoon clearing. Morning fog, then sunshine Sunday and Monday, though cooler mid to upper 40s. And then Tuesday showers and sun breaks. And as I said a few moments ago, we're going to be looking for some wetter weather and maybe cooler weather towards the end of the week, which might bring some snow to the mountains.